How do you find your power stance and stride for beginning hitters? Beginning hitters are new to the game. They're normally eight years and under or nine years and under. Still in t-ball or coach pitch. So everything's new to them. So we're gonna approach the stride right mat. Now I'm a righty, everything is the same on the left-handed side. And you'll notice the numbers get higher the closer you get to the pitcher. And the letters get further away the further you get from home plate. So I'm gonna position my back foot in A4 and my front foot in A7. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna put me in a position where I'm close enough to home plate and I can protect this outside corner. A lot of umps these days are taught to call this pitch a half ball away or a ball and a half away a strike. And we as hitters need to protect that. So we're gonna get close enough to the plate and we're gonna put ourselves in a balanced stance. Now this should put an eight or nine year old a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Their weight should be up on the balls of their feet and slightly on their back foot with their knees slightly bent. Now from here, from our front foot, we're gonna stride from A7 to A8. A7 to A8. Now make sure that stride foot doesn't fly open and step in the bucket down here in column B, or make sure they are not over striding up towards row nine. Now what this is gonna do with our base at A4 and our base at A7, and our stance and stride going from A7 to A8, it's gonna have all our momentum going towards the pitcher, and it's gonna give us the most balanced, powerful stance and stride that's gonna protect the most of the plate. Now once you get this, please go to our training section and groove your stance and stride.